Good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to Palms and Projects. Today I wanted to share with you uh, just a really small project that I'm going to be working on. It's not really a how-to, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, but um, again I just thought more than anything maybe it's an idea that uh, you can incorporate on your own house. Um, right here I have a small planner section. Um, a lot of times if I leave it just as is, uh, weeds will start to grow in. Um, this time of the year it's winter so the weeds aren't that bad but come spring, come summertime the weeds will just keep on coming up. Um, another thing is uh, what I'm going to do basically is I'm going to put some rock here, some decorative rock here. And I just had the house painted. Um, I don't have rain gutters at this time so another benefit of putting the rock down is that when it rains the water uh, it'll keep the water from splashing on the dirt keeping the dirt from the uh, splashing and staining the house so again the rock it'll serve two purposes one keep the weeds down and two uh, keep the dirt from uh, staining your walls so um, I'm going to go ahead and get started and clearing out some of the few weeds that are here. And I'm also going to uh, kind of adjust the elevation a little bit. I have bubblers here, so um, the water only bubbles out and then I want it to flow to where the, the roots of the, um, the, the shrubs are. So again, I'm just going to play a little bit with the elevation uh, just to kind of help direct the water. Okay, so I've cleared out the weeds. Um, now I'm just kind of uh, adjusting the elevation, the dirt, so this way the water will flow where I want it to flow. This is a really small project. I just use a uh, large putty knife and then just kind of, again, start to take away dirt where it's maybe a little bit too high. That'll prevent the water from flowing where I want it to flow. Um, so I just thought I'd show you a little bit of this kind of you get an idea of what it is I'm trying to do here. This bubbler, obviously the water will come down here. And then I want, I want it to flow around these roots here. I did the same up there. Uh, it's real subtle, but um, again, it, it'll help the, the water get to the roots of the uh, of the shrubs okay, so everything's ready for the weed barrier um, I don't know how well it comes up in the video but but there's some slight um, changes that I made to the soil here again just to direct the water but anyways uh, this is the weed barrier there's all different types of weed barrier this is the one that I use um, and basically it consists of obviously just laying it down and um, just cutting it along the lines um, and then we'll go ahead and once we have the weed barrier done we'll go ahead and lay down the rock Use a few rocks, keep it down in place. Okay, so the weed barrier is all down. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just kind of patch it in places where it's a little bit awkward. Um, obviously just scissors, cut around the trunks, cut around the sprinklers. Um, again, all real self-explanatory. I didn't um, want to bore you all with the footage of, of me doing that. Um, it's a little breezy today, so I used some of the stones just to keep it in place so it doesn't start flying all over the place. Um, your choice on what stone you want, your choice on what size you want. Um, these are uh, half inch to one inch stones. Um, most of the bags that I bought are one to two inch stones. It's a Mexican beach pebble that I get at a local supply store. Um, I'm tending to get away from the smaller stones um, and, and trying to go to the bigger stones. Um, I don't know, just personal preference.
actually day two, um, I ended up needing to buy a little bit more rock to uh, just kind of fill in some of the empty spaces. And as I was doing that, I thought that it'd be worth sharing with you that I know earlier in the video I mentioned the fact that um, I actually like to go with the bigger rock, like um, anywhere from one to three inch. Um, but the problem with that is that one, you get less rock in a bag, and two, it can be a little bit more uh, difficult to fill in the empty spaces. So uh, I thought it'd be worth sharing with you all. What I'd recommend is going with a uh, first layer of smaller rock, maybe a half inch to one inch rock. This way it's um, pretty much covering all of the weed barrier. And then for the second layer, then you could go ahead and go with a larger rock. Uh, however large you'd like to go, but this is actually uh, one to three inch rock on the top. So again, just something to help with um, the appearance of a walkway and more importantly to help control the weed. So again, here's the final product and thank you again for joining us today on Palms and Projects and you all take care.